What differentiates us from organisms with a lower form of organization? How is a prokaryotic bacterial cell, for example, any different from any cell on my eukaryotic body? Can the bacteria maybe group together and form a multicellular organism? Find out in this video. To understand the difference between the two cell types that exist on planet Earth, we must first define what a cell is. A cell is basically the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism. In the case of unicellular organisms like bacteria, one cell is the entire organism. The only exception are cyanobacteria, which can form colonies, but there are special kind of creatures that deserve a whole video for themselves. Structurally, there are two cell types, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. You might have noticed that I did not mention viruses so far. That is because they're not cells. They're simpler and made up of DNA or RNA as a genetic material, and are surrounded by a protein coat. But let's focus on the living organisms in this video. The prokaryotic cell is represented on the figure on the left and the eukaryotic on the right. Both cell types share some similar features, such as they have a cytoplasm which fills up the cell, they have a DNA, ribosomes which are the structures responsible for protein synthesis, and both cell types are surrounded by a cell membrane. I would also like to mention that the prokaryotic cells are generally much smaller than the eukaryotic cells, and they both have different shapes. And as you can see on this image, the eukaryotic one is much more complex than the prokaryotic one. So let's start with the structure of the simpler one. Except the shared features, the prokaryotic cells have some characteristics in which they differ from the eukaryotic cell type. The DNA in prokaryotes is circular and called nucleoid, and some prokaryotes may also have smaller circular DNA molecules called plasmids. To attach to surfaces, they have pili, and to help them move, the prokaryotes have flagella. As an additional layer of protection from the outer environment, some prokaryotes have a capsule. It is worth noting that some eukaryotic cells, such as plant cells, also have a cell wall. The main distinguishing feature of our eukaryotic cell is that the DNA is linear and separated from the cytoplasm with a membrane, thus creating the organelle called nucleus. The additional organelles or compartments with different cellular functions surrounded by a membrane are the mitochondria, which is the so-called powerhouse of the cell, the endoplasmic reticulum, important for the production of relevant biomolecules, the Golgi apparatus, which is responsible for packing and processing those biomolecules, vacuoles in which some molecules are stored, microtubules, which provide structural support for the cell, and the centrioles, which have a role in the cell division. To summarize, both cell types have cytoplasm, cell membrane, ribosomes, and DNA. Some of the prokaryotic cells have plasmids, pili, flagella, and capsule. The DNA of the eukaryotic cell is surrounded by a membrane, creating a nucleus, which is the main difference between a prokaryotic and a eukaryotic cell. Only the eukaryotic cells have endoplasmic reticula, Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, microtubules, and centrioles, and only some eukaryotes have chloroplasts. By now, you should know that prokaryotes are the simpler type of cells, and eukaryotes are more complex due to the cell suborganization into organelles with specialized functions. I will cover the functions of the different organelle types in more details in a follow-up video. In the meantime, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to support my work, and remember to stay curious. Thanks for watching. Thank you.